Hello, welcome back to my channel. This vlog that you're about to see is a recent trip that I just took with my cousins. If you didn't know, I am originally from Southern California, so a lot of my family still lives in Southern California. I'm now living in Washington and I've been in Washington for the past six years or so. This summer we decided to take a trip back to California and then take a road trip with my cousins up to Mammoth Lakes, California, which is actually this place that we all went together as kids in 2009. And so we thought it would be really fun to make new memories there and go there all together again. <laughs> and so that is the trip that you will see in this vlog and I wanted to make this intro because I realized this vlog doesn't really flow cohesively without me kind of like telling you what's going on. So we ended up flying from Bellingham to LAX on July 11th. This was on Sunday and I was able to read Hairpin Bridge while I was on the flight and so that was an interesting experience for sure. <laughs> boyfriend that were flying down there and then my cousin Grant picked us up from the airport. And that night was a really fun first night because we actually went out to eat in Manhattan Beach. We went to this place called The Kettle. Ooh, we're in Manhattan Beach. Yes. It's so beautiful down here. some sushi. Oh no. <laughs> we're getting burgers. Are we? Yeah. This is a burger place. This is a burger place. This is so nice. Look at this down here. Look at this. I know, I kind of want to too. It'll be, the sun's gonna go down right now though. Yeah. So, I'm sure there's lights out there. And it was really lovely because I got to have dinner with my aunt who I haven't seen in years, like since before we even left from California. So probably in about eight years, I haven't seen her. So that was really, really nice to be able to have dinner with her. And it's really cool because my mom was actually originally born in Manhattan Beach. And it's just not an area that I've explored a ton, even though I used to live pretty close to there. So it was kind of fun to just be able to walk around the pier that night. <laughs> Yes. Like so badly. Look at that. Oh gosh, that's terrible. I can't even see. You just, you, got, you just dropped it. I dropped it. That's yep. unfortunate. I know. And I was working with this for like, yeah, almost. <laughs> well, now this is my second camera. I still have that one. That's still kicking. I know. What is your Sony? Sony. Damn. It looks. Ooh, we tie a bag. This is crazy. <gasps> it's so pretty. Oh, I packed it. I know. I need another vlog from you, sir. <laughs> My first vlog was a failure. No funny. Failure to who? Oh, yeah. Grant had a YouTube. I know. He still does. I still do. He's yeah. Still <laughs> I don't use it. <laughs> Not no, active, no, 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 no. but it can COVID be. Happened, like, directly after, that. after we got home that night, we got to play with my cousin's two cutest dogs ever. He has this white chihuahua named Abby that is just one of the most loving dogs <laughs> I've ever met in my life. She's seriously so cute. Cute. Skinny little leg. Ooh. God, why does she look so ripped? <laughs> Grant's record wall. Grant's it's so amazing. <laughs> and the cool lights. I really like the lights. It was very cool. They're uh, sound activated. Yeah, that's so awesome. <laughs> it went off of Grant first. <laughs> look at Grant got it. <laughs> what is it? Does? Yeah. Does. It goes around the whole mattress. <laughs> What? Like the whole thing. <laughs> it says you have to stand the mattress up vertically. And roll the protector over the thing. What? You're crazy shoes. Over the whole. Oh. 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 So cute. <laughs> The cutest little thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello! Oh, hello! 
that is when we hit the road for Mammoth and coming from LA, the road trip to Mammoth takes about five and a half hours. So we hit the road around 11 a.m. and then we stopped for lunch at In-N-Out because it's a necessity. Like she's, somebody spilled ketchup on her once and she burnt her clothes. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you wanna say that again? <laughs> Are we in Palmdale right now? Yeah. We're in Palmdale. This is Palmdale. This is it. It's 100 degrees outside. Mm. But the drive was a pretty long drive on the way up there because we had left at 11. It took pretty much like the entire day to get up to Mammoth. It was a really fun road trip though and we actually listened to the entirety of Evermore by Taylor Swift because my cousin Grant had never heard it before and so he wanted to like rate and review the album because he's really into music and so it was really fun to listen to that album on the whole trip up there. Me and Obed also got matching in and out shirts while we were there because, you know, when in California. Yeah, we finally pulled up to our Airbnb around 5.30 at night. It really did take like pretty much the whole day to get up there. But oh my gosh, this Airbnb was absolutely stunning. Like these views were so incredible. Like it actually took my breath away the first time that I saw that view from the window. Like I couldn't believe how stunning it was. I also couldn't believe how incredibly quiet it was up there like there was not a single breeze like not a single noise it was just peace and quiet and i've never been in that kind of quiet in a long time <laughs> and so that first night in mammoth we didn't get to do too much we just went to a local small pizza place in town and had some really good pizza we went to the local vons because we had to get some groceries for the airbnb and then we were also playing with the switch like all night we were just playing video games together <laughs> showdown Oh, nice. Oh! Five? <laughs> what kind of word is that? Oh, oh, that was close. That was so close. Oh, yes! <laughs> what? We draw. I've never seen that. That was so close. Pick up your Joy-Con, rotate it, and set it down. <sighs> there you go. Tongue out. Yes. <laughs> Dang. Is this normal syrup? Oh. That's like yeah. strawberry. They have like homemade. Oh, really? The next day in Mammoth was on the 13th. We got an early start. We went and got some breakfast at this really cute place. And then this was the day that we were planning on going to Mono Lake first thing in the morning, but we made the mistake of splitting up because we ended up taking two cars on this trip because since there were six of us, we didn't have one car that would fit all of us. So Rachel, Obed, and Ava, my cousin, went into the one car and then me, Grant, and Kara, Kara's Grant's girlfriend, went into the other car and we got lost, which really sucked. Yeah, so this fucking blow. <laughs> We've been uh, trying to find like, cause we have to take two cars everywhere, you know, cause we have six of us. And so we've been trying to find them for like an hour because um, we all tried to drive to Mono Lake, but apparently there's like a million access points to Mono Lake. Yeah, this is trash. Despair. Yeah, so we're going to June Lake from there. We're parked <laughs> on the side of the road. Yeah, this is trash. It's fucking... <laughs> Stupid shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. And we didn't really anticipate not having cell phone service and not being able to get in touch with each other because if one of us got lost, it would just be like we couldn't find each other. And so that day was really frustrating because we both ended up going to different places on the map and we were both trying to get a hold of each other. And so we ended up not even getting out of the car for the entire two hours that we were trying to find them and trying to get in touch with them. And so that really sucked because we didn't really end up doing anything at Mono Lake except freaking out and trying to find out where they were at. So we decided to leave and we decided to go to June Lake instead. And June Lake is so freaking beautiful. It is so beautiful. It's just like this cutest little lake 
in between all of these mountains and it has like a really nice beach with like sand that you can just walk up and walk right into the water. I was amazed at how shallow the water is at June Lake. Like that is the only thing that I think is kind of like not that great is because it's shallow for so long. Like you have to walk out so far before it gets kind of deep to the point where you can even swim. But it was really nice and we spent a lot of the afternoon on June Lake and I, would, I was able to read a lot of my book that I was reading at the time. It was just so fantastic. And then that night we got to go into the little village at Mammoth that they have there. It's like a cute little shopping center that's just like tucked right in the middle of everything. And we went to this really good restaurant called Burgers Restaurant. <laughs> we had some really good food there and then we walked through the village. I got this Mammoth sweatshirt that I really love. And then we also just got some ice cream. Mango? Yeah. Good. <laughs> you didn't get anything ever? No. They didn't have any non-dairy. Yeah, they did. Oh, they did? Mm -hmm. I took the last of it. Cool. Mango. Oh, I don't want to shit myself. There's no way I'm eating this right now. Just, just try it. Is this so cute down here? <laughs> Doesn't this remind you of like Irvine kind of? Yeah. Or like Irvine but like more small town vibe? More of like cabin-y feel. Yeah. But True. this is like how the outside malls and stuff look like. Yeah. It's, really it's so funny. cute. Like are those like apartments or like I don't know. Yeah, understand. I think so. That's Maybe so cool. hotel. Yeah. It's so nice. Mm -hmm. And then that night we went to the pool because our Airbnb had access to this community pool that was so cool. It was like had such a great view and it was kind of on like a rooftop of this little area. It was just stunning. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. Rage. Okay. <sighs> you got it. You got it. Let's go. <laughs> The next day was the 14th and we kind of had a late start to our morning and then at around 2 o'clock we packed up all of our shit and we went and saw Convict Lake and Convict Lake is definitely the highlight of the trip for me like this lake is absolutely stunning it's gorgeous and it's this beautiful lake that is just in between these two mountains and this is honestly the lake that I remember the most from our first trip to Mammoth together I just really remember loving this lake and thinking it was like one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. And so we were able to take this short little hike from one point of the lake to the other side and it was really, really cute. I also, I didn't bring my bathing suit to this lake even though I should have because I really wanted to go swimming in this lake. It was just so freaking cute. This photo was taken when my mom asked us to pose on this little boat dock that they had there and we all almost fell into the lake because we all almost like tipped the boat over so this photo that we took was totally candid. It looks like it was posed but I swear it was a totally candid moment of us nearly falling into the water and so we thought it would be so fun to try and recreate this photo as adults 12 years later but we just decided to take this picture there and I think it turned out so cute and like seeing the side by side pictures together like ugh, it just warms my heart because I'm just so close to my cousins and moving away from them like you know they still live in California so not being as close, like living as close to them anymore has just been so hard because we're all so close and I just love them so much. So I love having this photo as like memories and like this whole trip as like memories with them. It's great. And then that night we ended up going back to another restaurant that was in that same village. We went to this restaurant called Smokeyard House and it had some really freaking good mac and cheese. <laughs> Head to head. <laughs> <laughs> what is that noise? I don't know. And 
ended up playing a lot of board games that night. They had this really fun board game there that was like this five second rule game. And then we also played Monopoly. And of course I won because I'm a Capricorn and I always win Monopoly. <laughs> And then the next morning, Thursday morning, was our last morning in Mammoth. We ended up going to the Breakfast Club, which is one of the most iconic breakfast places in Mammoth, and it was so freaking cute. We were kind of bummed because this was the day that we were planning on going and seeing Devil's Post Pile, which is one of the most iconic spots in Mammoth to go to. And when we got up to go and buy tickets for the shuttle bus, because you have to take a shuttle bus from the one point of the mountain to go up there, they said the shuttle bus tickets were sold out for the next two days. And that was our last day in Mammoth. So we were pretty bummed because I didn't realize we would have had to call ahead and get shuttle bus tickets. So we weren't able to see Devil's Post Pile, even though we did go up and see it on our first trip. So it's not like we haven't been but we were just excited to see it again so that kind of sucked but instead uh, we ended up going on the gondola rides that takes you all the way from the bottom of the mountain all the way to the top and this is something we also did do on our first trip and I remember being absolutely terrified because I don't do well with heights and the gondolas have always really scared me because not only just because like you're going up there and it's really high up and you're trapped in this tiny little box it feels like it's very unstable but it's like that day that we went up there this time it was so windy so the box just kind of felt like it was like moving like the gondola just felt like it was moving side to side and it was freaking me out they do that. Before we hit those, it's gonna get a little choppy, but yeah. Oh god. This is so quiet. It's so nice. Nice. But we ended up doing that. I faced my fears. I went on the gondola and I didn't die. And then by the time we got to the very top of Mammoth Mountain, it was so stunning. It was 11,000 feet in elevation. It was just so beautiful. It has the best views. And I remember that was like the number one thing that I looked forward to the first time that I went up there. Oh my God. Oh my God. When I take off your hat so your face isn't like... <sighs> oh, Holy shit. Holy fuck. <laughs> And so it's so funny because me and Rachel were the only ones who ended up going back down on the gondola because my cousins and Obed ended up hiking down the side of the mountain because they have this hiking trail that takes you from the top to like the next level of the gondola. And so Obed wanted to do that because he didn't want to go like on the very tippy top where it like throws you down in the gondola. He wanted to go down to the second one. And then me and Rachel didn't really want to hike that day because like the high elevation was making my lungs feel like I couldn't breathe. And I'm like so out of shape right now. So I just could not do it. Like the hikes are really intense in Mammoth. So I was like, no, I'm just going to take the gondola down even though I'm terrified. And I have some really funny footage of me and my sister in that gondola screaming our heads off because I was so fucking scared. Tron and a oh oh my God. <laughs> California ride and this is all automated and none of this is real and this it's is not real. It's a screen and I'm not actually in a mountain. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking cry right now if we hit one more fucking bump turbulence. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this thing is fucking swinging like oh rocking back and forth and we're like thousands of feet in the air probably. I don't do good fights. Fuck, fuck, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. My god. <laughs> I hate it. I hate oh, it. it helps with your legs out. I fucking hate it. It just does. I hate it. I don't even want to. Oh, but I can't live fucking it. died. I can't. I can't do this. Oh, but I would have fucking died. But it's okay. I'd rather take like 10 minutes of this than fucking hiking. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We're gonna have a bump. We're gonna have a bump. We're gonna have a bump. It's okay. Okay, it's okay. 
Okay, that was another one. Dude, this is fucking. This is fucking bullshit. The gondola stopped. Oh my god. We are just frozen. And it's windy. This is trash. And we're literally so close. Like, this is it. We just need to go into right that there. building. Right fucking there. And we're stopped. We're not moving. It's okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking lose it right It's now. probably just because someone tripped and they're like stuck up there or something and they just have to stop it for a second. It's no, okay. Holy fuck. Like, this would happen to us. I mean, thankfully, Don't we're, not, we're not too high up. Like, if we stopped, like, all the way back there, like, everyone else probably is. Oh my god, like, I would have fucking shit my pants. Like, I'm not even kidding. It's okay. Like Everything this, fine. we're only probably like I can't tell how many feet. We're probably only like fifty. Feet. When it goes again, it's gonna rock. Okay, so be careful. Oh my god! Just, just fucking hold your breath. God, we were so close. I was like, okay, we did it. We made it. And then I, know, I just stopped. want to see. I just want to say how long we're gonna stay here for because I'm trying not to panic. Everything is fine. But if we can just move, I will be okay. Just close your eyes. Take deep breaths. Just don't even think about it. We're just, mm -hmm. we're just at the top of a mountain. We're not stuck in a swinging gondola. I thought I was like being so badass today by like facing my fear of heights. And I'm I was gonna like, shit my pants. I know. I was my like, I'm just, gonna, feel good. I'm just gonna do it. And like, no. Oh, oh, we're moving. We're moving. We're saved. We're moving. We're fine. I will jump out of this thing so fucking fast. You don't yeah, know. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. I will fucking super ran out of here. It's been a couple of hours now since the gondola ride, which was absolutely terrifying. By the way, not a huge fan of the gondolas. Um, but now it's like 4.45 in the afternoon and the other half of our crew, like all of my cousins and Obed, they decided that they wanted to hike back down instead of taking the gondola back down. So they ended up hiking back down the mountain, but I think they went down the completely wrong side of the mountain, like, and it took them hours and they sent us their location because they think they thought they got lost and they were on like the complete opposite side of the mountain. <laughs> they ended up having to take a shuttle bus all the way back down. And now we are stopping to get coffee on the way back because Rachel wanted coffee. There's this really cute place down here called Looney, Looney Bean. <laughs> and they have coffee there, so. Uh, Had to get some. So yeah, Rachel wanted to get some coffee. Get some, get some. And now we're headed back after a long day. I'm sure it was an even longer day for them, but um, the good news is that I was able to finish my current read, The Charm Offensive, while we were waiting for them. And it was so good. It was so good. It was so cute. Let's tour the Airbnb. Well, right when you walk in, there's a little bathroom to the right. When we come in, this is the main kitchen. Amazing, amazing. And this view, I mean, you can't beat the view. Okay, like this view is just absolutely stunning. We're very high up. We are four floors up. And then this is all over here. Excuse the mess, because we were playing games last night. Monopoly, you know? And then this is the view. We have our own little patio out here, and it's so cute. I've been reading out in this chair, um, like, pretty much the whole trip, but such a stunning view. And then we turn, and this is what it looks like on the inside. And then we go upstairs. Upstairs is where all the bedrooms are. So this is the room that Grant and Kara are sharing, but the only thing that sucks is that there's no window. There's this one, but this one leads to the front, so it's kind of strange, I don't know. And then we go up a few more stairs. This is a bookshelf. I've already looked through it. There's a lot of DVDs and a lot of books. And then straight to the right here, this one is Rachel and Obed's room. Super cute, super nice. And then there's a the little bathroom right here off to the side. This bathroom is actually really cool because it has this whole like ledge over here. That's super nice. And then there's this giant creaky staircase. <laughs> and at the top of this staircase is where Ava and I sleep. So we go up. And we have fans blasting up here because it gets pretty hot. So we do have the amazing view up here. So yeah, amazing view. This is the bed where I've been sleeping. I've got the fan blowing over here. It's kind of cute because it's like slanted low ceilings in here. So I don't mind it. I think it's kind of cute. And then Ava has been sleeping on the other side for me. She has another fan pointed at her because it gets pretty hot over in that corner. But yeah, that is the full Airbnb. And it's just, it's been really cute. I just hate this uh, staircase. And there's like this thing right in the way. So when I have to wake up in the middle of the night, 
That kind of sucks. Beautiful. You got blended. It's pineapple. You want to try mine? You try this. It's perfect. Isn't it good? Then later that night, we decided to go out to this Mexican restaurant for dinner and I ended up getting a margarita because I love margaritas and oh my god, I only took a few sips of the margarita and I was already feeling it so hard. Tequila always hits, but it's always my favorite alcohol. And then it's so funny because I only ended up getting a quesadilla and cheese and guac and stuff like that, but all of my cousins and everyone there got um huge portions of food. Like we could not believe the portion sizes that they served at this restaurant. We were absolutely floored. I got this little quesadilla and Ava got this. Uh, I thought it was a bit small. Dude, holy cow. That's amazing. That's a big one. That's massive, bro. Dude, this is like seven or eight. This is so much food. Thank you so much. Thank you. And then the next morning was the 16th. It was Friday and it was our last morning in Mammoth. We actually ended up hitting the road pretty early around like 7.30 and we left Mammoth because we wanted to beat traffic back to LA because traffic in LA is such a nightmare. And so we left pretty early and then we ended up getting back into LA around like 12.31ish. And it was actually a much easier drive on the way back than it was on the way up because we stopped less frequently and we just went like straight through the whole way there. It was also quite lovely because I listened to the entirety of the audiobook of What If You and Me by Roni Lauren while I was in the car on the way back from Mammoth. The audiobook was only like four hours long so I was able to listen to the entire thing and it was this romance book that I just, I absolutely loved it so much. So that was also a wonderful surprise. I only had it downloaded on my phone because it was a Libro ALC from this month. So I wasn't even really planning on reading this book, but it just kind of happened spur of the moment and I loved it. And then getting back into LA, we were all so freaking exhausted because the car ride was really long. And so we ate as soon as we got back to LA, we had pickup sticks, which is one of my absolute favorites. I actually used to work at pickup sticks for a year when I lived in California and pickup sticks is my favorite Asian fast food place like ever. Oh my God, it's just so, good so we had pickup sticks and then we all ended up taking a nap for like two hours because we were so tired but then that night it was so nice because we went down to Torrance Beach my cousin Ava is very familiar with this area so she kind of like took us down there and we watched the sunset on the beach and this was also one of the highlights of the trip for me I was amazed by how beautiful it was down there Ava's just a little sore <laughs> from her hike yesterday. Thank you. You're limping a little bit. <laughs> it's been so long. Oh my goodness. 
obsessed with Aver. So cute. She loves you. Hi, hi, hi. Hi. So cute. Hi. Oh, hello, hello. This is when my vlogging really started to suck because I didn't vlog the rest of the night, but we ended up going and getting Cold Stone after we were at the beach and the Cold Stone was amazing. We always like to make it a habit of going to Cold Stone whenever we go down to California because we do have Cold Stones in Washington, but the closest one to me is like almost in Seattle. So we don't have any local Cold Stone around here. So it's always a treat to get it. And then the next morning was the 17th. It was our last morning in California. We ended up going to the local restaurant Norm's, which used to be one of our favorite restaurants as a kid, but now they've kind of changed so much to the point where they're kind of like basically like a Denny's or an IHOP. So it was kind of a disappointing breakfast. Like it just wasn't what we remembered it to be. But then afterwards we went to Pinkberry um, gotta get that pink berry on the last day. <laughs> Except Ava didn't. <laughs> the pink berry hater. <laughs> I love it. It's so good. Ooh because Pinkberry is one of my favorite spots. And of course it's only in California, so we had to go. And we're back on the plane. Goodbye, California. <laughs> Bye. Bye. It's been fun. It's been a good time. Back on the plane again. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. <laughs> in the air again. <laughs> in the air again. <laughs> <laughs> if we do it like this, it'd be terrifying. <laughs> That'd be too real. <laughs> And then we were back at LAX by four o'clock in the afternoon and our flight was at six o'clock and then we were home by 8.30. It's always so comforting to like return from California to Washington because whenever I see Washington from like the window of the airplane, I always forget just how green and how beautiful Washington is from the airplane and just like in general. Like Washington is just such a breath of fresh air and it's just so relaxing. So yeah, that was the trip. That was the mammoth and California trip. <laughs> it was a really, really fun, really memorable trip. And you know, as I said, like I don't get to spend a lot of time with my cousins anymore now that we're all adults. And now that, you know, we're not living in California anymore. It's just been really hard to see them and spend time with them. And so any time that we get like this together is just so great and so memorable for me because they're some of the people that I'm closest to in this world. And I just really love being able to spend time with them. And family is just so important to me and I just love them so much. So it was a really, really great trip. Mammoth is just so stunning. Like if you ever find yourself in California and you want to take a quick little road trip to somewhere like Mammoth is amazing. It's so beautiful. Love that it's like a really like cabin vibe kind of place. There's a lot of wildlife. So you have to be careful of like bears and stuff. Like you can't take food in your bags and stuff that wildlife could smell potentially because you don't want to get attacked by a bear. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Luckily, we didn't see anything crazy like that. We didn't see any wildlife. We just saw like some really cute chipmunks that were like, oh, literally this big and it was so freaking cute but uh but yeah we just had a really great trip and i'm just so happy that we ended up doing this thank you for watching and i'll see you soon with another video <laughs> bye